Hi. Now, as we talk, all of you know that uh, the U.S. Parliament has passed 61 billion dollar for aid for Ukraine, and additionally, they have also passed a bill to confiscate the Russian assets in the United States. Some people say that it's worth around 5 billion US dollar and that money will also be given to Ukraine. Now we will be discussing about two things, how it has affected the US domestic politics plus what it will lead Ukraine to. Uh, number one, uh, when the voting uh, was there uh, in the Congress, we saw two things. Uh, many of the Republicans did not vote it for them, but majority of them did vote it for it. Uh, and secondly, uh, many of the Democrats also did not vote it for it. Uh, but uh, the number of Republicans not voting for it was significantly higher. Now what it will lead to, I think that uh, the Speaker of the House, uh, Mike Johnson, he won't be on his, in his position for long because already some of the Republicans have demanded his resignation. And uh, you may find that uh, there will be motions by the Republicans to remove him from the chair because he First, he was not willing for this motion uh, to pass the amount for Ukraine, but then he took a U-turn. Uh, there are several reasons. One is Donald Trump himself, because Donald Trump also uh, talked somewhat in that direction. Well, I'm not going into details of that because it will take a lot of time then. Uh, but uh, we saw Fisher between uh, the Republicans and uh, I think there was some understanding between already some promises by the Democrats to the uh, to the Speaker Mike Johnson that uh, they will support his position. But I don't think that uh, that support will be for long if uh, the Republicans start bringing motions against him. So I think his political career as a Speaker will end very soon. Number two, what it will lead uh, Ukraine to? Uh, that is a very big question because what I firmly believe that uh, 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 the more the war goes on, more uh, territory will be taken by Russians and more bloodshed will be there of Ukrainians. Already they are lowering the age of recruits uh, those to, to whom they are sending to battlefields. They are short of men and machine. And uh, uh, see one thing, uh, the catastrophe which is happening with the Ukrainian army, it is not due to just funding. It is also because the Western grouping, including which includes uh, European Union, which includes Great Britain, which includes the United States, were not able to produce ammunition in the quantity which was required. So this funding won't solve it. The best thing it will do is to fill the pockets of the donors that it will surely do and it will uh, postpone the end of this war it will drag this war even more even further and will and uh, you will see that ukraine will lose more territory sergey lavrov foreign minister of russia he has already said that uh, they are not against talks but uh, the military will continue its job that means uh, they are not going to stop uh, the military operation or they are not going to retreat the way they did uh, when Istanbul, Istanbul talks were going on in 2022. So uh, this is very bad news for Ukraine. Uh, the best thing for Ukraine is as early as they should end this war.